The armor of God fits good on me. It makes me strong as I can be. I can stand against the enemy. Cause the armor of God fits good on me. Put on the belt of truth. My good news boots. Getting dressed and ready to go. The shield of faith. The sword I raise. God's word is what I know. With all my might, I'll do what's right. With the armor of godliness. My helmet's on. My salvation. Now I can stand strong and pray. Cause the armor of God fits good on me. It makes me strong as I can be. I can stand against the enemy. Cause the armor is good on me Put on the belt of truth My good news boots Get dressed and ready to go The shield of faith The sword I raise God's word is what I know With all my might I'll do what's right With the armor of godliness My helmet's on Salvation, that I can stand strong and pray. Cause the armor of God fits good on me. It makes me strong as I can be. I can stand against the enemy. Cause the armor of God fits good on me. The armor of God fits good on me. Good on me. Good on me. The armor. Hello and welcome to our second lesson on the armor of God. Last week we began to look at a new passage in the Bible that tells us about the special armor God has given to us. This is an armor like a soldier wears. No, it's invisible armor that we put on every time we think and we do things that God tells us we should do to stay safe and protected by him. remember where we read about the armor of God and what was the first piece of armor that was mentioned? We read about the armor of God in Ephesians 6. Let's read verse 14 to find out what are the first two pieces. You can repeat after me. Stand therefore, having fastened on the belt of truth, and having put on the breastplate of righteousness. Last week, I hope I helped you understand why and how you wear the belt of truth. This week, I want to help you fully understand why we must wear the breastplate of righteousness. So why is it a breastplate? A breastplate is a piece of armor that protects important parts of the body, like your heart and your lungs. And I have a picture for you here where you can see what your actual real heart and lungs look like. And if we put on the breastplate, look at that. It protects them. Why is it important, boys and girls, that you protect your heart. Well, God has a lot to say about that in his word, the Bible. And I want to take a look at one verse, Proverbs 4, verse 23. It says, guard your heart above all else, for it is a source of life. Can you try that with me? Repeat after me. Guard your heart above all else for it is the source of life. Boys and girls, that verse tells us that our heart is really important and we must take care of it. And if we wanna take care of it, we have to protect it. 
we have to protect it from our enemy. Because our enemy, if we allow him, he will take shot after shot. He will tell us lie after lie. And if we don't have that breastplate of righteousness over our heart, we're not protected. But see, look, with the breastplate over our heart, those arrows, those lies of Satan, they cannot reach us. And we are kept protected. If you choose to follow God's commandments and you do what he says is right, you put on the breastplate of righteousness and you will guard your heart. Let's watch a Bible story now to help you see this in action. In the Bible, there's a true story about a time when God's people started disobeying him. Because of this, God allowed their enemies to take everything they had. God's people were so afraid that they ran and hid in caves. Then they prayed and asked God to help them. Let me see all of you make praying hands. Way to go! This is Gideon. An angel of God told Gideon that God wanted him to help save God's people, the Israelites. The angel called Gideon a mighty warrior. Let me see all of you show your muscles like a strong and mighty warrior. Wow, you look like warriors. But Gideon didn't feel so mighty. He felt scared and not strong enough to do what God had told him to do. But God said to Gideon, you are strong. Go and save Israel. I will be with you. Then Gideon believed that God was with him and he was ready to do what God had told him to do. The angel of God told Gideon to tear down the tall pole and altar that Gideon's family had built to show love to fake gods. God wanted Gideon to build the right kind of altar that would show love to the real God. Now, let me see all of you hold up 10 fingers. You got it! Gideon got 10 of his friends and they went and did exactly what the angel of God had told him to do. Even though Gideon was scared of what his family and other friends would say, Gideon stayed strong and did the right thing. Sometimes it can feel scary to do what is right, but when we put on the armor of godliness, we know that God is protecting our hearts from wanting to do the wrong thing. He will be with us and give us the power to do what is right. So let me hear you say this after me. Put on, put on the armor of godliness. The armor of godliness. You've got it. When you put on God's armor and pray, you'll be strong enough to stand up to any evil that comes your way. Okay, soldiers, let's march. Oh, who's got their armor on? We've got our armor on. Oh, peace by peace, we'll put it on. Peace by peace, we'll put it on.
teach you. Oh, the left foot first. Put your left foot first. Uh huh. Put your left foot first. Put, put your left foot first. Oh, put your right foot next. Put, put your right foot next. Put your right foot next. Put your right foot next. Now both. And left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, and left, right. Sword of the Spirit, the belt of truth, the helmet of salvation, and tie my shoes with the readiness to share the good news. It's the shield of faith, the breastplate of righteousness, sword of the Spirit, the belt of truth, the helmet of salvation, and tie my Wearing the breastplate of righteousness means you are doing your best to obey God. It means you are trying to follow his commandments and do what is right. That's why it's called a breastplate of righteousness. Do you hear the word right in righteousness? If we're wearing it, we're, we are doing what is right in God's eyes. And when you do what is right in his eyes, Guess what? You protect your heart. God is always with you and he will give you the power to do what is right. Well, let me end our lesson today by praying for you. And then we have one last song to sing that will remind you that you want to do what is right. Dear God, we thank you so much for your word, the Bible, for what you teach us about how we can protect our hearts and protect ourselves from the lies that the devil may throw our way. God, we thank you that you take care of us and that you love us this way. And God, may we remember your word when we need it most. May we keep reading your words too, to learn it more and more and to hide it deeper and deeper in our hearts, I pray. God, we just look to you and we trust you to watch over us and take care of us each and every day. We give you these things in your most worthy and precious name. Amen. <laughs>